This weekend, the nation descended upon the small town of Selma, Alabama, the historic site of a day in history, a moment in time, a momentous march which changed the trajectory of life and the very definition of equality for an entire nation. Tell me about what brings you here today. The march on the bridge again. Again? Yes. How many times have you been? Second time. Second time. Yeah. What was your first time? I'm 65. In addition to President Barack Obama, President George Bush, Congressman John Lewis, and scores of civil rights activists, dignitaries and celebrities, Hosea Feed the Hungry and Homeless joined in the recreation of the Selma to Montgomery march across the 1,200 foot long Edmund Pettus Bridge. We're here today so we can make sure that we never forget and that we know we're not finished because we have to not only get on this bridge and walk across it, we have to finish the work that was begun here. In honor of her father, the late Reverend Hosea Williams, who courageously led the march on March 7th, 1965, leading to the passage of one of the single most important pieces of legislation in the 20th century, the Voting Rights Act of 1965, Elizabeth Omalami walked the same fateful steps of her father this weekend. It's actually a walk she takes each and every year. Nothing can stop me. This is not a movement for me. This is who I am. So at some point you get to the, in your life, you become the message. My father gave me, and my mother Juanita, who wrote her master's thesis on the members of the Selma Montgomery March, they gave me a purpose. But Jose William was a great leader. He was dynamite. I mean, he had that fire up in him, and you don't get that today and he was very courageous. Often called Uncle Hosey, this civil rights activist gave a purpose to thousands through his work, not only leading a march alongside Congressman John Lewis and Selma 50 years ago, but also leading his community through a lifelong commitment to serve. Well, he was looking for a way for the movement to manifest. So first he thought, he thought it might be business, economics, he thought it might be politics, he thought it might be education, he thought it might be all of these things. And so he loved DeKalb County. Everybody kept trying to make him move to, out of DeKalb County and get him a condo in Buckhead. He refused to leave. He lived in that neighborhood there at East Lake until he passed away in 2000. Priding himself in being unbought and unbossed, Williams, the very same leader who insisted on leading the march across the Pettus Bridge five decades ago, regardless of threats made against his own life and the lives of his counterparts in the civil rights movement. So when Dr. King's daddy called him back to Atlanta to preach at Ebenezer, and he told Jose Williams, don't march, well, he might as well have said, Jose, go march. Because the march, the people were ready and the people had been taught and, and, and they had heart, their hearts had been touched. They were ready to die. Also refused to leave his beloved DeKalb, a county he went on to serve as a member of the Board of Commissioners from 1990 to 94, and a place his legacy continues to serve even to this day. I'm still there with Jose Feed the Hungry. We served 985 people from DeKalb County last year, and uh, we want to do even more for DeKalb County. Uh, Hosea Williams, who sat on the Board of Commissioners uh, here in DeKalb County, who was on the front lines uh, there on that bloody Sunday uh, in Alabama. So we can't forget what has uh, been done for us, uh, before us. Uh, we also have to remember that the work that we're doing here today, the work that I'm doing, uh, it's, it's work that will uh, add value to the quality of life, not just for African Americans, but for anyone who lives in DeKalb County and even in the state of Georgia. In one afternoon, 50 years ago, it was not a clash of armies, but a clash of wills. A contest to determine the true meaning of America. And because of men and women like John Lewis, Joseph Lowry, Hosea Williams, Amelia Bunton, Diane Nash, Ralph Abernathy, C.T. Vivian, Andrew Young, 
Fred Shuttlesworth, Dr. Martin Luther King Jr., so many others, the idea of a just America, and a fair America, an inclusive America, and a generous America. That idea ultimately triumphed. And we have to realize, this is not just a bunch of people walking around with some signs and making noise. These men and women were given their lives. They did not know if they were going to die or not, and many had already been killed. So, Hosea Williams was the kind of man that lived by the Spirit, and that's why I have on this shirt, Unbought and Unbossed. Because he was unbought and he was unbossed. He was ruled by the Spirit and not by the flesh. And so that's what I like so much, I honor him. Uh, so much today for.